Hi, I'm Donald Pickering. I'm CEO of Olus Robotics. I'm here with Robert Methven, our Director of Offshore Services. Um, Olus is a software company based in Seattle, Washington, that has developed technology to allow subsea ROV operations and manipulators uh, to achieve a level of efficiency and safety that otherwise is impossible. So our roots were in surgical robotics, uh, and we uh, decided to uh, deploy technology initially to help the Navy with classifying and remediating bombs and ordnance on the seafloor, but then recognize that the technology could be used for offshore energy as well. And so here we have our OLIS master controller. Uh, the controller uses a combination of both gamepad design and pen and arm control and integrates our software in a touchscreen environment. And this software has a host of features that isn't available on the existing controllers. Um, we have the software, uh, or the controller currently running on the Schilling T4, as well as the Schilling Atlas arm, uh, but it is extensible to virtually any manipulator. Okay, so those people familiar with the old Schilling controller, we have the, the recognizable pendant arm, which, uh, basically um, represents the, the seven functions of the, the T4. Um, we also have, which is new, the, um, the integrated gamepad buttons. So we find that the younger guys um, offshore prefer to use the, the gamepad buttons and the older guys like to use the pendant arm. So we have both to cover both demographics. Um, some, a very quick overview of some of the features that we have. So it's a fully touch screen, interactive um, unit. Um, we have some video feeds here on the right hand side. Um, that's to represent, you know, obviously the, the standard kind of ROV feeds. Um, we have a, a speed control of the actual arm itself and the manipulator, um, the actual, uh, the end effector speed. Um, we have some memory positions so you can uh, actually program in your own paths and positions. So for repetitive tasks, you know, you can set up standard waypoints and navigate towards those very easily and simply. Um, we have some plane lock functions. So for things like cutting operations, um, you can, you know, uh, ha have the arm stick to the Z plane and you can just go up and down. It will not deviate from that plane. Um, we also have here on the setting screen, if you can see that, we have uh, fully customizable um, joint limits. So if you're working in a particular um, environment or you need to close that window of operation, you have full control over um, the joint limits and it will give you an indication of when you reach those limits. Um, if we go back to the operations interface, um, we have it set up with um, wheelhouse safe um, colors, so there's no bright screen, so you can operate in low light without any interference with uh, ongoing operations offshore. Um, and a very simple status update. Um, obviously, everything green is good, and if you have some indication of there's some kind of communications um, issue, then that will obviously give you a, um, a very easy to understand um, readout. We also have a full diagnostics panel. Yeah. So for the guys who like the numeric readouts from the, again, from the kind of uh, legacy system, we have a full diagnostics readout that, you know, we can display and then the guys can take a look at. The, the housing itself will be uh, aluminum. Um, so it'll be heavy, heavy duty, um, you know, designed to work offshore. Um, and fully safe to use with hydraulic fluids and all that kind of stuff. So the guys who come back on and start using it with perhaps stuff on their hands. So it's, it's, um, plug it. It's, it's also plug and play. Um, so you can take this single unit, plug it straight into the, the T4 arm as it's set up now and you, you're, you're away. Um, so there's no integration. There's no extra hardware that you need to bring with you. Um, so if you have this unit, you can, uh, basically control the arm.